Yeah, so there is gravity in space. Um, it, so, so it's a common sort of misconception, actually. You think uh, you see the space station, and you see the um, astronauts in it floating around, and you think gravity's gone away. No, actually, they're only about, what is it, about 200 miles or so from the Earth's surface? Maybe yeah, it's 200 that. kilometers or something, maybe less. So, so it's only a few hundred kilometers up, and, and gravity, as we know from Newton's law, drops off as the square of the distance, in this case, from the center of the Earth, pretty much. So, so you can imagine that you go, um, away to the surface of the Earth and then go a little bit further to the height of the space station. So there's very little difference. So there's very little change in the force of gravity if you're thinking like Newton. Uh, what's happening is that everybody's falling and everybody's falling at the same rate. And that's why it looks like there's no gravity. And that, that in Newton's law, back in 1687, that was kind of a coincidence. That was, it was known, um, but the, the, what you're seeing according, in Newton's language is that something called, so you'll all know, everyone will know, F equals MA. You learn that, you're physics students, you'll learn it. So you've got a mass there, which says how hard it is to accelerate something. So you give it, exert a force on something, and how fast does it accelerate? If it's more massive, it accelerates more slowly. And um, you can think of that as a definition of the mass, actually. Force divided by acceleration equals some number. So, so what is it? And that's called the inertial mass. And then there's the mass in Newton's law, which you will also know, which is F equals G, mass of the Earth, let's say, mass of astronaut divided by the distance between them squared, center of the Earth to the astronaut, center of the astronaut, actually. And so, so there's that one. And so what happens when you calculate how things move under gravity is that the masses cancel out of the thing that's doing the falling in this picture. And so everything falls at the same rate in the gravitational field. Um, but, but, and this goes, go on to Einstein, and it's a radically different picture. So Einstein says, that what gravity is really is what you might call a fictitious force. It's not a, a real force in a sense. It's to do with the fact that mass and energy, so something like the Earth, curves the fabric of the universe itself. So, and what you see is things moving in a curved fabric. Um, and so that's, then it's not surprising that things move in the same way because they're moving through the same fabric in that sense.